hi guys welcome back to my channel this is battle with ola my name is mujula olua that's where the ola comes from today i just want to do um a quick reflection on my time as a lawyer so far and i want to use this to encourage and you know probably provide some light on the journeys of a young lawyers like me as to how to prepare for your very first appearance in a nigerian court so um, looking back on my time, these are some of the things that I've done so far that has worked for me and that can work for you. And these are also some of the things that I did not do or I have not done that I now understand should be done or I should have done. So um, I hope that uh, you learn one thing or the other. The first I want to talk about is getting to court on time. You cannot or we cannot overemphasize that you need to get to court on time. It's very essential, very important because it allows you to settle in before the judge arrives. It allows you to acclimatize you know, with the court environment, the uh, language, the tone, the body language of the court. You're able to maybe listen to the registrar's talk. Some of them might be talking about the judge. So, or you're able to ask them a few questions like, uh, when does this judge sit? Do they allow me to do something like this? For instance, if you have um, an application or emotional process that you filed that morning there are judges that will not take it from you that day because you must have filed or should have filed it before sitting and there are judges that will take it once you just slip it to their registrar they can slip it into the file before your case is called so if you get to court early you're able to find out some of these things and then you're able to look at other lawyers too understand the sitting arrangements and probably the preference of the court will, the, will cases be called out of turn or will the judge follow a strict uh, uh, a strict order according to the cost list? So uh, that's uh, those are some of the benefits of getting to court on time. Then you pick a vantage position. If you have uh, a if your voice is not that loud, you are able to sit in front or closer to the front. And then if there's an SAN in court, you are able to steer clear of uh, their own seating. So that and it also allows you to settle down, you know, in your mind. So you're not perspiring and making apologies on your first appearance. Very important. Get to court early. It helps a lot. It boosts your confidence and it helps you to get in tune with, you know, the rhythm of the court. So that's one thing. The second thing is once you get to court and you've taken a seat, please look for the cost list. Don't just sit and maybe chat away with your friend or start pressing your phone. Get the cost list and look at your matter. Number, what is your matter? So that if you have the opportunity to call it out of turn, you know when you're calling out of turn, there's a video on that. I'll leave a link to it in the description box. When you call out of turn, the judge will ask you that what number are you interested in? Imagine if you have the opportunity to call out of turn and you don't know the number of your case. So get the cost list. That's the second thing and study it look at the cases for hearing for mention you know for report of settlement for judgment for ruling you know for continuation of trial so that you have a fair idea of how the court's business will be conducted that day and then you look at um, the number of your own matter in case you get to call out of turn or in case it is called you know that they are calling your matter so very important also, it's important for you to check the cost list because sometimes your case might not be listed and you have a court date, you're there, you're sitting and your case is not even listed. So you have to check the cost list so that you will not sit in perpetuity in vain. So get the cost list and check the cost list once you're settled down in court. Very important. The third thing that I would like to talk about is look into your file. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of, you know, chatting with other lawyers. Because in the process of chatting, you might chat with your person lawyer too much and you might let out your uh, winning strategy. Or you might chat too much and they might get information from you that they were otherwise not supposed to have gotten, which might put you in soup. So it's important to mind your business. I mind my business in court. Mostly every other place I go, I mind my business. So if it works for you, mind your business and start reading your file. So just go through the endorsement again. I have a video on endorsing a court file as well. I'll leave a link to it in the description box. So 
look at the endorsement so that you understand especially if you're not the one that's been handling the file which would naturally follow since it's your first appearance so read your endorsements all over again i'm assuming that you must have read them before coming to court but read them all over again in case you miss something so that when it's time for your case you will know what to say because usually when the court calls your matter and you announce your appearance the other person announces their appearance or maybe they're not even there the next question the court will ask is why are we here today or what's the business for today in this matter so you must be able to tell the court oh my lord at the last i joined did this matter was slated for mention or for trial or for continuation of trial or at the last adjourned day or at the last adjourned date so so person was admitted to bail it's not here today my lord and neither are shorties you know so that you have something to say or maybe the other counsel did not come so when you look at your endorsement you will tell the court my lord at the last adjourned date so so lawyer represented the defendant or the claimant and today they are not here we wouldn't know why so that the court can know what to do next so important look through your file and read the endorsements that's another thing to do another thing to do is to go over what you've prepared to say or do in court that day if you have a prepared you know maybe speech or strategy or start to prepare what you say if you haven't ahead of time start preparing what to say if it helps you can write it down so that you don't forget or so that in case the court you know interjects or something happens you don't lose your line or your train of thought. So important. Start preparing what you're going to say. You can write it down. Sometimes I write down the things that I want to tell the court. Yeah, it's important. Write it down. If you have a law you want to cite, open that law. Put a divider between it so that when it's time for you to cite it, you just open it straight away instead of frantically looking for it when you're ready before the court. So important to get ready, look through your files, if there's anything you want to call the court's attention to, start it or put a divider in it or, you know, just make a mark or make a note of it, either mental note or written note of it. So very important, just get your act together and concern yourself with your own business, you know. And of course, I'd like to say as well that I don't think that it's a good idea for you to try to call your case out of turn if you're appearing for the first time. I'd rather wait. It's my own policy to wait. Yeah, it's my own policy to wait. But if uh, you can get away with it, you can try it. And if you have studied the court's body language and you can see there's something you can do, you can do it. But if not, please wait for your turn, okay? Life is turn by turn, like they say here in Nigeria. Another thing that can be very helpful for you if you're appearing for the first time is to pay attention to what other people are saying, okay? So, um, Pay attention to maybe the first two, three, four cases before yours or to all the cases before your own so that you understand what kind of judge is this judge, how are they talking to this judge, how is he responding to them, what can get him angry and what can make him pleased with me. You will be able to decipher these things as you listen to other people do their matter, then how are they addressing them. I remember the second, I think it was the second time I ever uh, uh, appeared in court. Technically, the first time, because, you know, the first time I've told you the story before, I'll leave a link to it in the description box as well, when the judge had sore throat and did not eventually come. The second time was when I went to get a new case submission ruling in, uh, at, a, at, at a magistrate court in Benin. So um, I was so thoroughly confused that day because I didn't know if I was going to say your worship or your honor or your lordship. You know, this is me who has interned, you know, for one whole year before law school after graduation and this is me who has also been to court several times essentially and here i was thoroughly confused as to how to address a magistrate of course i knew that your lordship was for the high court but i was now not sure if i should use your lordship for the magistrate as well your honor or your worship you know it just became so confusing at that moment when i was already in court so what i did was i just listened to every other person my case was called last because i was the junior they were calling out of turn even though i got to court before the magistrate sat my case was the last. I think it got to me around 1 p.m. or thereabouts. So by the time it was my turn, I had already learned that I would say your worship. So, you know, I was able to scale through. So pay attention to what others are saying, okay? In fact, it could be that, you know, one of those seniors or one of those people who do their cases or one of those people who do their own matter before yours would have cited a law that can be useful for you or a decision that can be useful for you or they would have said something that uh, will not sit well with the courts that will guide you so as not to say or do the same thing. 
So very important, pay attention to what's going on in court so that you understand you know, the body language of the court, like I always say, and so that you know what to avoid and you know what to do. So very important. Another tip that can be very helpful is please, no matter how the court urges you on or how your uh, other counsel urge you on in court, please don't do anything that your superior has not asked you to do. Very important. I've been in court one time and you know, this man, uh, his senior had sent him to come get an adjournment and uh, he came to court. The court tried to force him to go on with the matter, but he insisted respectfully, of course, and he was able to get that adjournment. I know that I've told you in another video of how the court compelled a junior to go on with the case and he did well during cross-examination. But please, especially if you know that you have a senior that will not take it, that will not take it from you, please, don't be influenced or, you know, uh, impressed upon to do something ultra virus as a junior or as a young lawyer. If you have been sent by a senior, please make sure you stay within the purview of what they've asked you to do. If they've asked you for an adjournment as much as possible, please get the adjournment for them. Don't go into trial, okay? Please try as much as possible. But I guess the most important thing is to do what is best for the case. So make sure that whatever you're doing is what's best for the client and as much as possible in line with the instructions that you were given from home, that is from your office. Additionally, I should have said this before, please wear your power clothing when I'm appearing for the first time. Wear your power clothing. What I mean by power clothing is, you know, that suit that whenever you wear it, your confidence shoots from 100 to 1 million. Please wear it that day. That dress that gives you so much confidence, you could literally, you know, walk into the United Nations Assembly and tell them to end the war in Ukraine right now. Please wear that dress. Wear those shoes that give you extra confidence, okay? If you have a bracelet, a wristwatch, earrings, a pair of earrings, or a wig, or anything, or a particular collaret that you have maybe some sentimental attachment to, or that gives you, you know, extra confidence, you know, Please wear those on your first appearance to court. It will help you a lot to make you comfortable and it will give you, you know, the necessary confidence boost that you need in court. Please do that. Another thing I'd like to say is that please do your proper endorsements for your first appearance in court and for all subsequent appearances. Do your proper endorsements. Are the parties present or absent? You write it there. What party is present? What party is absent? Then the defendant counsel, the claimant counsel, or you know the prosecution, are they present? Are they absent? Then what was the case uh, slated for, and did it go as slated, or what happened? Did you ask for an adjournment at whose instance? Okay, did anybody move an application? Was it granted? Did anybody oppose it? Put all those things in your endorsement in the court file. And if you did not go with a file, please write it down, maybe at the back of your diary, or maybe put it, uh, you know in a journal or something and transfer it to a file when you get to your office but please get your endorsement straight please get your endorsement straight for your first court appearance very important also go with a diary i've talked about using an e-diary this is my second year running using an e-diary and it's been very helpful it's been very reliable you know so you could use an e-diary you could buy a hard copy diary very important get the dates for adjournment get them down don't forget very important and if you miss anything maybe the adjournment make sure you whisper to the registrars get the dates before you leave court those are some of the things that make you a fine lawyer from start so as i remember i'll share more tips but i think that these are things that have worked for me and that can work for you too as a young lawyer especially for your very first court appearance and of course commit your ways into the hands of the lord and it will watch over your path so Pray about your first appearance, prepare, plan, and I wish you an excellent delivery for the first time and every subsequent time. That's all I have for you in this video. I will see you in my subsequent videos. Toodles!